Happy Monday morning, everyone. Uh, Jericho here, and welcome to it. <laughs> it's early, <laughs> so I'm a little punchy. Ah, uh, wow, so it is uh, just a little after six. I'm in the parking lot of my apartment building. Uh, there it is behind me there, somewhere. Getting ready to uh, get some driving time in today. I'm going to get my first COVID shot. Now, I'm gonna to try to not make this terribly political today, <laughs> even though it certainly is. In order for me to get my first COVID shot, I have to drive nearly two hours to get it. I have to drive to Rolla, Missouri. So, being that we haven't done it on the road in forever, sorry, COVID, you know. I mean, it's the reason I'm going to get the shot is so that I can do more of these. <laughs> but being that we haven't done one in a while, I was like, hey, I'm on a road trip, like four hour round trip. So, so I'm gonna be on a road trip. I might as well go ahead and get a, uh, a nice vlog done. So, so that's what we're doing this morning. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get on the road here in a minute. We're uh, just getting ready, making sure I've got my cameras and everything going. And uh, it all looks good. So uh, we'll see you on the road. really looking forward to getting my shot here. I spent a whole year pretty much living in my teeny tiny little apartment by myself, staying away from people, keeping everybody at bay, friends, family. And getting these shots means that we can move a little closer to normal. I'm really enjoying that. And the whole time, I've been thinking about, ooh, little trips that I can do, you know, little places I want to go to around the area, you know, Missouri, Illinois, even into, you know, Arkansas and Kansas. I'm so excited about getting on trains. I, I'm so looking forward to that. Uh, going to visit, uh, maybe going crazy and going out to the West Coast and visiting some old friends and maybe doing the East Coast and every weekend every weekend's going to be an adventure I am so excited about the future of this now I just need to get a couple of shots and let them take effect
ouchy, ouchy, go on, let me get him. Fauci, ouchy. So they have me waiting here in the car. They can't let me in more than 15 minutes before my uh, my appointment. I was hoping this would be a pull up into a parking lot and they jab you while you're still in your car kind of thing, but no, I have to go in and be around people. But nonetheless, here we are. I'm just sitting here bored. I filled out my paperwork. It's sunny. It's nice here in Rala. We had a good trip. It's good to be back on the road though. <laughs> so, uh, tell the folks who you are. I'm Jenny. And do you want to tell the folks what your Instagram is? My Instagram is Creative J Coaching, and my other Instagram is. That's a good question. <laughs> Weediverse, W-E-I-D-I-V-E-R-S-E. -E. All right. Clearly, I don't go on Instagram much at all, <laughs> besides to stalk people that I follow. Sure, sure. Yeah. And and who's the biggest person that you stalk and follow on Instagram? The biggest person is Jericho on the road. That's right. That's right. My big fan right here. Right yes. here. And so today, you are uh, the producer for this vlog. Sure. You're also our, our camera person for this vlog. Yes. I used to use the term camera wench. Mm, I like it. You like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I've always worried about it. Everybody I've ever said it to is like, oh yeah, that's funny. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So you're the camera wench right. today. All right. Uh, and the weather? The weather is beautiful. I ordered it just for you today. <laughs> Perfect. It arrived just in time. Amazon. Yes. Amazon delivered. So what did you think of the trip? A lot of fun. It's been a long, long time, almost a year. Well, 10 months since I've been out of St. Louis proper. Wow. Well, except for St. Charles, but I don't count that. Out of St. Louis County? Mm, well, St. Charles is technically. I guess it isn't St. Louis County, is it? No. <laughs> Tells you what I know. Okay, so it's been 10 months since I've been past Festus. Mm. Anywhere exciting. <laughs> do you find Rala exciting? Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure what that says about me, but <laughs> I'm super excited to be here <laughs> in such close proximity to Uranus Fudge Factory. Uranus Fudge Factory. Yes. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> the lovely names of things. I should do a whole... Once everything is back together, mm -hmm. that is a whole vlog. That's a whole day. Absolutely. I mean, how many vlogs can say, I went to Uranus? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's... And I got fudge and from I got... Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> and I ate it, and it was yummy. <laughs> so that's our line happening over there. Wow, there's, it's really building up, too. Mm-hmm. What the hell's going on? It is the place to be. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm going to get in line. All right, have fun. Oh, yeah. So, uh, just got my shot. Got my Fauci ouchie. I got a, uh, I got a mandate. A friend of mine was asking if, uh, I got a sticker or a lollipop. Sadly, no. Uh, they did give me a card telling me I got the Moderna. So I got a Moderna vaccine. Uh, they set me up for another appointment here at the end of the month, the last Monday of the month. So uh, it won't be quite four weeks, just just not three weeks, something like that. No ill feelings. It went pretty quickly. They cleaned the clipboard. They cleaned the chairs. They cleaned everything. So it was really nice. They had everybody spaced out six feet. All together, this was a great, easy experience. They do a good job here in Rala. So uh, uh, Phelps Health. I believe the health system we're working with here. So feeling good, about to get back on the road and uh, we'll probably do another vlog for uh, 
for the next trip down because this was uh, this was fun. <laughs> I hate to say it; it's so weird to say that, but I've been cooped up for so long. Getting out and going and getting a shot was fun. <laughs> so uh, here we go, back on the road. So it's Saturday. I wanted to give a little time to do a follow up on the shot to let people know my reactions to it. I didn't mean to wait this long. <laughs> I meant to only wait a couple of days, but it was a busy week and um, well, the shot kind of made it uh, a little more difficult, to be honest. The shot was Monday, Monday, uh, well, mid-morning Monday. By Monday evening, I was somewhat fatigued and I had uh, the beginnings of some some injection site pain. So they inject it directly into the shoulder, like right there, right where there's there's very little skin and your muscle is, is real easy to access. So right, right just beyond the, the sh shoulder. As a matter of fact, if I press right there, I can still feel it. They use, for those of you that have issues with, with needles and shots, I understand, um, they use a very small needle. <laughs> uh, it's very sharp, very small, uh, and it's exactly what you want for a shot because I, and this isn't a macho thing, um, I didn't feel the shot for the most part. It was in, the injection happened, and it was over before I knew it. Uh, I, I even complimented the, the nice person that, that gave me the shot there. They knew what they were doing. I guess they're going to get a lot of practice here soon, too. So that was Monday mid-morning. Uh, no immediate ill effects. By mid-evening, uh, I was starting to feel some fatigue, and I was definitely getting some uh, injection site pain. Now, I get a flu shot every year, except this year. I haven't gotten one. Uh, I, I was worried about when the, the COVID shots would come out and there was talk that, you know, they would interfere with, with each other, the flu shot and the COVID shot. And I have barricaded myself in my apartment for the most part. I really haven't seen much of anyone. I have my groceries delivered, the whole thing, so I wasn't going out. So I, was, I wasn't as worried about getting a flu shot. I was actually thinking, you know, to get a flu shot, I'd have to go out and expose myself. I haven't gotten one this year, but like I say, I, I get one just about every year and I rarely have any injection site pain just a little you know like a a little bruise feeling and that's usually about all I get this was significantly more now it wasn't debilitating it wasn't uh you know I wasn't writhing in pain but it was definitely noticeable whereas the flu shot typically isn't so this is definitely very different it definitely feels like a muscle issue they do inject it into the muscle, so that makes sense. So if you've ever had, you know, a good muscle bruise or um, say a pull, something like that, that's kind of what it felt like. It felt like um, an issue with my, my shoulder muscle right there. Um, and, you know, if I moved my arm up, I'd, I'd move my other arm, but it's currently holding the camera. If I moved my arm up and over or something like that, I could feel it pulling. I was able to do my work. I was able to to do what I would normally do. Uh, I wasn't, you know, debilitated in any way. It just was there and reminded me it was there on a frequent basis. The, the fatigue that I felt wasn't overwhelming. I went to bed a little early on Monday. No big deal. Uh, similar on Tuesday, um, I, I still had some injection site pain. It was, it was less-ish. Uh, it was very different. It felt more spread out, but um, again, not debilitating or anything along that line. Just there, reminds you. Uh, and then I was a little fatigued Tuesday. I went to bed early on you know Tuesday night, maybe like by an hour. Again, I was able to do my work. I work from home these days. Uh, so, you know, nothing debilitating there either. It was just there. By Wednesday, I was feeling fine. Still a little bit of 
of injection site pain, but it was definitely, uh, you know, mellowing out. And, and again, I'm, I'm mentioning all of this because very different from flu shot. It's just noticeable. It's not, again, I, I hate to keep using the word debilitating, but it wasn't stopping me from doing anything. It was just very noticeable. So I'm saying all of this to say, this is going to be different than probably a lot of stuff you've experienced. It's certainly been different than anything I've experienced. By Thursday, pain was almost gone. No, uh, you know, uh, no fatigue, no other reactions. I wasn't, you know, vomiting or, or doing anything like that. Yesterday's Friday, nothing today, nothing. I'm, I'm perfectly back to where I was. Yeah. Go get the shot. I got the Moderna again. Um, you know, I've heard people go, well, should I get the Moderna or the Pfizer? The, you know, should I wait for the Johnson and Johnson? You know, what should I do? The advice that I'm hearing over and over again from Dr. Fauci and a lot of the medical community is get whatever shot you can just get it as soon as you're able to in your area. Uh, the only reason I was able to get it, uh, this early on because Missouri for right now is still, uh, people over age 65 and high risk. I'm considered high risk. Uh, I'm very obese. <laughs> uh, I have type 2 diabetes. I have some heart issues. So that that puts me into a higher risk category and they want to get a shot in my arm. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, one of the reasons I've barricaded myself and really stayed away from people over this last year is because... I know I was high risk, uh, not only overweight and diabetes and heart issues. Um, I'm 49 and male. That seems to be risk factors for this disease. You know, the people that are rushing to throw their masks away at this point, you know, do a good health check on yourself first. You know, are, are you of a certain age? Are you of a certain weight? You know, think about these things first. And also think about the fact that you can pass it to others. I know there's a lot of politics and a lot of controversy around this epidemic, pandemic. For me, it really was, you know, A, myself. I was high risk. I am still high risk. I mean, I've only got the one shot in. Um, and B... I was worried about other people on this one. This one is so easy to pass, so easy to get other people sick. Uh, I don't want to be the cause of somebody else getting sick. So, so yeah, I try to be really careful. I say get whatever shot you can get as soon as you can get it. I'm not sure how your state's handling things. Uh, the state of Missouri is... Um, did I say I, I wanted to keep politics out of this? Okay, I'm gonna to try to keep my politics out of this. My politics are very liberal. We are seeing a situation where the state of Missouri is sending amounts to communities that don't need that much. So that's why I drove from St. Louis to Rolla, Missouri, you know, almost a two hour drive to get the shot because Rolla has extra, St. Louis doesn't. St. Louis is a much larger community. Rolla is a, a small college town. St. Louis is a major metropolitan area. Kansas City is a major metropolitan area. They don't have as much as they need either, but a lot of smaller communities have more than what they need. So the people that can, and I'm privileged enough to be able to do that. I have a job that was like, yeah, you know, go take care of your health. Uh, and I was also able to do a, uh, a teleconference while driving. <laughs> I work in the tech industry, so, uh, you know, we're all working from home. And, you know, again, it's all about privilege there. Uh, I'm, I have the privilege of being able to work from home and work remotely and, and attend meetings remotely and do all of those things that a lot of other people can't. So... I was able to go to Rolla and get the shot. And I guess if there's a good thing there, that means that a shot slot is gonna open up here in St. Louis for somebody that can't pick up during the middle of the week or on a 
Monday, and not even the middle of the week, on a Monday. You know, usually work on Monday is, is, you know, a big deal. Like I say, I was able to get up, drive out to Rala, do a meeting on uh, over the phone while, while driving, uh, come back and work from home in the afternoon. That's a lot of privilege that a lot of people don't have, and I'm fortunate. So, you know, certainly willing to spend the half a tank of gas to do it. I wish I didn't have to. I wish the state was a little more organized on this point, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I got the shot. Uh, I'm scheduled for my next shot here at the end of March. We may do another one of these, but uh, we'll keep you updated on this as we go along. Good luck out there. Take care of yourselves. Take care of other people. And um, keep going. Might as well get some uh, being dive bombed by birds. Sorry. <laughs> so, a little shout out to Phelps Help. Help. Phelps Help. A lot. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Anyway. Uh... Okay. 13 minutes. Fuck. All right.